where I will talk about my experiences, opinions and ideas about the music business and guitar-oriented matters in particular. Please don't bother my, as we say in the Netherlands, staying cold in English. I can help it and I will keep working on it. I promise. My name is Henry Huisjes, but most people can pronounce Huisjes. So just call me Henry or Henry H, which I have chosen to be my artist name. I am a guitar player, a composer, producer. I produce my own music. And I thought if Rick Beato and Pete Thorne and Red Shell and so on can make a living out of this, so can I. In this video I'd like to talk about guitar amps. About 10 years ago I mainly finished my quest for tone, like Mr. Eddie Van Halen, God have his soul, was also famous for doing that. I found out that I liked, that I like the Marshall based amps the most because of their tone and also they react very good uh, in my opinion on the volume knob of the guitar. That's why I ended up having four Marshall based amps, all with a typical Marshall based sound, but each have their own nuances concerning sound and also they have their own features that gives me a lot of opportunities. I especially like the JMP and JCM 800 series the most, in particular the 2204 series and also the 2203, but I have a couple of 2204s. I can't show you my JMP 2204 because someone else is using it, but I'll start with my 89. Marshall JCM 800 2204, which basically is the same as the JMP 2204, but a little different sounding. There are a lot of different types of JCM 800s, and I haven't heard a bad sounding one ever. But this one, my 2204 in particular, sounds the best of them all. I don't know why it sounds so good. I bought it second hand and I don't know if the previous owner did do anything to it, but uh, maybe it sounded like that from stock. It is a 50 watt head, which means it has only two power valves or tubes, as we like to say in Europe. So it has the same sound as his big brother, the legendary 2203, 100 watt Marshall. But it weighs a little less and it is also a bit quieter so you won't be disturbing your neighbors too much. When I first saw it I knew it was a player's amp because it looked so abused. But the moment I plugged in my guitar and heard the first tone I was completely blown away by the sound and the interaction with the guitar and the volume knob of the guitar. Until this day I still love this amp the most and if I had to choose, which I hope that day will never come, this would be my choice. As we all know, nobody ever liked the clean channel of this amp, so I decided to put an extra master volume in its place, which can be switched on or off by a foot switch. This is really handy in live situations, especially when you're dealing with another guitar player or keyboard player and also maybe a singer or whatever instrument that's in the way of the guitar. I'd really like to do an in-depth video for this amp one day. Please let me know if you want me to do that in the comments down below. In the meantime you can listen to this amp by listening to my project Eyes There. It is a project I've been working on for a few years now. I hopefully will finish it one day. There's only one song to be finished, but you can listen to five out of six songs on Bandcamp and be sure to check out YouTube and Facebook for this project of mine. I'll put the links down below.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, blah blah. If you don't like this video, please let me know in the comments, giving positive feedback. Only a dislike is not so appreciated because I won't learn anything from it. So please leave a comment that is very appreciated. One more thing, if you like my music, you can support me by becoming a patron on my Patreon site. I will put a link down below. Also, you get instant access to a lot of material in that site. That's all for now. See ya.